In every all-girl friend group, there's what I like to call the narcissist. Harsh words I know, but this type of archetype usually follows along this similar pattern. She's the queen bee in the proverbial queen bees and wannabes dynamic. She comes off as extremely confident, usually in Aries, but it's a calculated confidence because in her heart of hearts, she's extremely insecure. She has a lot of unresolved abandonment wound trauma, but she's learned to mask that with an air of superiority and fierceness. She's probably been in very abusive relationships and so is a pick me. When you go out with her, she sucks all the energy in the room and demands all of the attention in the room. She won't quite settle on a guy that she likes. She likes all of them. And she truly will garner and pander for all of the male attention in the room the entire night. But she's usually in pick me, push and pull dynamics when she's in relationships. She is hustling for her worth, but she'll never let anybody know that. According to her, she is being adored and admired at every single turn. She likes to act like she rises above the drama, but in most cases, she's usually the puppet master creating the drama behind the scenes because don't even try to outshine a narcissist archetype friend personality. She wants to be the center of attention and she wants to be the one that everybody's talking about and paying attention to at all times. And if you at all try to surpass her in the success in your life or in your beauty, she will knock you down a few pegs to remind you who is the queen bee. She's extremely selfish. You can't count on her to do anything. It's all about her. She definitely won't be there for you when you need a shoulder to cry on. If anything, she'll just tell you that you need to cowgirl up and that it was your fault for the drama or the hardship that you're going through. However, when she's having a hard moment, she will demand all of the attention and literally suck everybody's life force energy dry in consoling her and being there for her. Thanks, Samantha from Sex in the City. She is not adverse to triangulating and working behind the scenes to receive validation for her side or narrative in any controversy. Don't ever expect her to apologize. She is adept at manipulative tactics when you try to come with her to resolve an issue. Gaslighting, blame shifting, projecting. In short, the narcissist in a friend group is a beautiful bully. Follow for more in my series on archetypes in female friendship groups.